Slow down for a few moments and uh, bring you the nightly devotional. I'm still hanging out tonight from the Elevation Ministry over at Edgewood Church in Anniston. It is my very good friend I've known since I was a kid, Brandon Grammer. He still kind of looks like a kid, but wow. Oh, just kidding. Wow. I'm sorry. But we're getting serious now, though, right? <laughs> exactly. All right, going to be bringing an awesome word tonight. See, there you go. Now you're nice and comfortable, right? That's right. That's good. All right, what kind of words you got for us, dude? I'm going to be reading out of Judges chapter 6, uh, verses 11 through 12. It says, One day the angel of God came and sat down under the oak in Ophrah that belonged to Joash the Abbi Israelite, whose son Gideon was threshing wheat in the wine press and out of sight of the Midianites. The angel of God appeared to him and said, God is with you, O mighty warrior. And one thing I think is interesting about this is because if, if you notice what he's doing in the very beginning, he's threshing wheat in the wine press out of the side of the Midianites, which is kind of weird that, that God will come to him and say, O mighty warrior, when he's, he's, he's hiding from his life. So, so what I'm seeing here is God's already seen the potential in Gideon before Gideon even saw it. And one of the tricks of the devil is to, to make you feel like you're less adequate than you actually are. And, and what I think is funny about that is, in my ministry I've seen that I felt this way, like I'm like I'm inadequate, how can I go out and, and be a minister of God? But God sees the potential and wants to bring that out of you. And what I think is cool here is that God's calling him a mighty warrior while he is hiding in the wine press for his, for his life. See, God had handed over the Israelites to the Midianites, and he's calling Gideon to come and, and, and bring them out of that. And Gideon even replies to him after that with, with, why me, Master? You know, why me? He's already feeling inadequate. But I think that's one of the biggest tools of the devil is to make you feel inadequate. See, what you don't understand about Gideon is, if you know anything about the 12 tribes of Israel, that Manasseh is the lowest of the 12 tribes. And out of Manasseh, his family is the lowest in that tribe. And he is the least of his family. So, in terms of Gideon, he could not have been more inadequate of a person at the time. And God noticed that. But I think God uses the little people like Gideon to do his will because God's going to get more glory in the end because God knows that he's using someone so small that, that when he comes up and is victorious, that it had to be God. It could be nobody but God. And that's where we are in our ministry. When we all get started, we're scared. You know, we don't know what we're stepping out on, but, but we're stepping out and doing things for Christ with His strength and not our own because greater is He that dwells within us than He dwells within the world. So if you hold on to that promise, God's going to use you. Don't be scared. Get out there. The devil just wants to make you feel like you're incapable of doing His will. But God's going to get the glory in all that you do. Amen, dude. And that's why we're called the least of these, right? That's right. Good stuff going on. Brandon Grammer, part of the Elevation Ministry, the first Tuesday of every month in Anniston at Edgewood Church. We want you to be there totally free and uh, free food at 6 o'clock. Service starts at 7. you got to go check it out. Big things going on. ElevateJesus.com is the website. I want you to support those guys. Very good friends of mine. Uh, not just through the show, but growing up and everything. I've, I've known Brandon for quite some time. And Jason Stansel, who helps those guys, and, and a lot of great folks. So a lot of love going out to Elevation. Yeah. Yeah.